Hello everybody, ground back here. Welcome back to the Generation Jumble. And despite looking like it's like Cyber DJ fighting like himself, this is actually AJ versus Cyber. We are in loser's bracket still. I would show you uh, the actual bracket. I will do that at the end of the video. But I'm pretty sure that like it spoils who wins this. So just for now on, wait, just assume that I'm only going to show you the bracket at the end of the video. But um... I, for once, truly don't know anything about these battles, so this should be a lot of fun. Uh, let's get into it. Alright, starting off, we have Starmie and Skarmory. Uh, if that Skarmory truly has no moves, that will be interesting. But instead, we have Chansey paralyzing the Starmie, but unfortunately getting a special drop. We don't get it with the Metagross. And honestly, I'm not sure what like, Cyber was trying to do there. Also, just to be clear, Cyber is the one with the Chansey, and AJ is the one with the um, right on. So, uh, just to clear up a little bit of mis misconception, or in case you get confused. But uh, so far, the battle is. It, it, it could be anyone's game so far. I don't see anyone really, um, like. Uh, Having a big lead so far. No big advantage. And I think that uh, Dundun's first getting paralyzed is probably more... Okay, there we go. We have the first KO of, of the game. And now we're going to just have, like, uh, Cyber's chance to like, spam Ice Beam until he gets a freeze. So, theoretically. What's with these chances and their crits? What is going on here? Like, how many crits has that been so far? Like, that was, like... You know, like, Starmie, I, I think that'd make a lot more sense, but... Oh my gosh, this is going super bad for... Uh, AJ super quickly. Just like Zasha we said in chat, so far these reads are actually just insane by Cyber. He is definitely, like, playing his A game right now. He definitely wants to get a rematch, uh, against Zasha who's kind of like his rival. And even like him and AJ sort of have a bit of like a beef before the uh, their match actually started. So this is actually a pretty fun, not gonna lie. Rhydon goes back in the Metagross. It should be able to KO this Rhydon incredibly easily. Now you have your own Metagross. So you're gonna try to wall that with Skarmory. That's probably fine. This looks like it's probably just gonna be a very standard Metagross set. Which is like Psychic and EQ as its main attacking moves. Okay, that special drop is annoying. Not enough to kill. You can go for a rest. And honestly, Cyber might be going for Weir a little too much. Because you could just very easily switch out. Not that like, Drill Peg would have done much to like the Rhydon or uh, Metacross anyways. But at least it, it would have been like some progress being made. But that's just my opinion. Switching back into Skarmory, do we get a special drop? Yes, we do. It's annoying, but Skarmory has enough time that a burn sweep uh, turns. Especially with, uh, you know, that Metagross being paralyzed. And here, uh, yeah, this is looking really good for Cyber all of a sudden. Yeah, like, Met oh, okay, but that's, but that, that was a crit. Looks like Zoroark does not have Flamethrower, so that's going to be incredibly annoying. You get that special drop, which it just not appreciate. Oh, that's why. Okay. Okay, I see that. That's fine, I think. Huh. Wait, large and in charge? Oh, no, large and in charge. Okay, no, I'm dumb. But the Skarmory is not going to wake up in time. The Shanty's probably going to get killed too with Hyper Beam, unless you do the like Magnum Opus read and go into Zoroark here. Uh, looks like you don't. You just go in, in the Snarl Axe, which, that, that's fine. Ooh, going for Self-Destruct. Unfortunately, you wasted because it hits a Skarmory. Not to mention, AJ knows for a fact that there's a Zoroark, so... I feel like that was just a bad play. Because that so easily could have gone wrong. But then again, you didn't really know what moves that Snarl Axe had. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to... Oh! Okay, that's funny. I I was hoping we would see that glitch at least once. Uh, because the Shanty took like 256 like HP damage exactly, it can't heal. Okay, that is what we call objectively funny. 
Hmm. I wonder if Zoroark should have gone for Sword Stance there. Don't know for sure. I think it's mostly inconsequential, but still something to think about. Okay, looks like Cyber has this. Yeah, I don't really see how AJ can come back. It, it, he just literally can't. Okay, so Cyber DJ takes game one. GG's to him. Now, let's go to game two, shall we? Starting off with Reggie Alecki. Maybe we going into the uh, Great Tusk. Going for Body Swam. Unfortunately, not getting a Paralysis. But going into Executor. Also, once again, AJ has the Executor. Cyber has the Metagross. Just so we know who's who. Rock Slide's interesting on Metagross. I'm assuming that's for Moltres? But I'm not sure if it's really worth it. Because it doesn't really do a lot of power. But I can see where you're coming from with that at the very least. Going into Wedgie Lucky. Going for a Sword Stance. Why do you stay in? Zorwak is frail. And you don't even KO the Alleged Lucky. And now you get crit. Ooh. AJ, you could have. That Zorwak could have been a very dangerous late game cleaner. Going for Substitute on the Great Tusk. Which unfortunately uh, just isn't enough. Or by that, I mean like. Um, I mean, like, the Zorwark doesn't need a recharge, but it doesn't really matter now. Now, I'm going to need someone to explain to me why Psychic is so popular on Hesuian Zorwark. I just don't get the thought process at all. I just don't see any reason why it would ever be better than Flamethrower. But both of these guys use Executor, which I think is interesting. Because I feel like we haven't really seen a lot of Executor in this tournament. Going in the Snorlax, we don't know what set this has. And... Interesting that Cyber went for Snorlax, but there's no, um, there's no Tauros. I haven't really seen that yet. Going into Executor, do you... Okay, I was wondering, like, what you were going to go for there. Psychic makes sense. Explosion. Okay, the Snorlax is basically, like, can you even... Sorry. The Snorlax can easily be revenge killed. Uh, Hyper Beam is immune. I'm not sure what AJ was trying to go for there. Probably a misclick. Ray Tusk comes in. Are uh, you going in the Metagross? I guess trying to fish that for that, um... Like, uh... Under a Hyper Beam, I guess. I'm not sure why I was Rain Farting there. But AJ seems to be doing alright. Ooh, a critical! Hyper Beam does not kill. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Great Tusk does outspeed and kills the Golem. You have Metagross. Headlong Rush does a lot of damage here. Doesn't kill, but it doesn't matter. The Metagross is not going to wake up in time. Headlong Rush finishes it off. And next, we have Executor. And Headlong Rush is not enough to kill. But Cyber has two Pokemon in the back, so it does not matter. This match is over. Okay. Uh, Starox gets put to sleep. Annoying, but can it wake up in time? I don't think so. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, uh, the Snorlax gets KO'd, so you just have the Zoroark. But the Zoroark just finishes off with Body Slam. Honestly, you probably should just win the Zoroark immediately. There wasn't much you should really have done with Snorlax, it was always just gonna be outsped. But I guess what like, you could have missed with uh, Sweet Powder. But I don't know, it's, it's fairly inconsequential, like, at the end of the day. Cyber moves on in the loser's bracket. So, speaking of which, let's actually look at this, right? So, now... All we have left is for Anir to fight Fish. And then Zastrowy will finally have her rematch with Cyber DJ. And whoever wins this match here will go against Creeper. Though, and then after these two have their match, like, they will have another... And then Zach and Theus, and whoever wins that faces me in the grand finals. This should be fun. Also, uh, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but even with my matches, all of them have just been clean 2-0. So, at the moment, I have a 100% uh, win streak in this tournament. Because I am uh, uh, like the coolest, probably. I don't know. Also, thank you guys for watching the Hasman Hotel video yesterday. Or, I guess, two days ago. It meant a lot to me. That, like, it actually did well. And if you guys would like to see, like, more, like, podcast-type videos from me, please let me know. I think that would be cool. But until next time, 
This is Groundback, and I look forward to hearing from you.